You guys might think that I am a big or quote unquote famous YouTuber, but that's only because you guys or some of you guys don't do what I do, which is make videos and post them up on YouTube. So yeah, some of you guys may look at my sub count and think, oh man, 3,000, you know, 300 something subs, you're famous, you're big, you know, you're known. Well, <laughs> I'd like to disagree with that because I honestly don't think I'm a famous YouTuber or a big commentator because I don't look at my sub count like that. Although, you know, what to me, my sub count means that every day or every other day, you know, one person or ten people subscribe because they like my content and that's what the sub count actually means to me. It doesn't mean that, oh, for every sub or ten subs that I get, it's it means I'm famous. No, it means it doesn't mean I'm getting more famous or whatever. You know, it's just, I just get really bothered by the fact that like, there are people who, you know, have a lot of subs and are very known, and they're like, they don't even pay attention to their subscribers. You know, some people who are known as big YouTube commentators for gaming, of course, that's what I'm talking about, because that, because I'm in that category. They just, they don't understand that they only got to where they are because of people like you guys, you know, regular people. And I'm not saying I'm not a regular person because I am. When people always say, oh, my God, you know, it's Ravenous Cows. Oh, my God, I've seen you on YouTube or something. I'm just like, you know, chill. Don't worry. I'm just a regular girl. Like if I were in your class or something, I'm just like her, you know, regular girl. So no need to like treat me any different. And I definitely don't treat anybody else differently just because I'm on YouTube or something. So all of my subs, I talk to you guys like regular people, like you guys are friends. And I don't like tell you guys, oh, you can't, you know, you can't have this Skype name of mine because I want some sort of secrecy and I want you guys to drool over me and like want to talk to me because I'm famous. And I understand that the fact that when big YouTubers don't reply to people, yeah, of course, they're busy and all, but, like, it feels like they don't respond to, like, some of the people, which is some. They probably reply to some, but the other some, they don't. But it's like, you know, when you're like, uh, you read the comment or, like, an inbox message or even on your Xbox or PS3, you read something. You know, you can take, like, a couple minutes to reply to the ones that you want to. But some people just think, oh, I get these all the time anyway, so I'll, there's no point in responding. So they don't respond. And that upsets me. So my big old topic today is if I were a big YouTube commentator, uh, I, I know I'm not there yet. You know, I'm not, I'm not, like, not, well, okay, this sounds weird. Like I said, I don't think I'm a big YouTube commentator. I'm not, like, really known or whatever. But my goal on YouTube is to be known. But not, not because I want, like, millions of subs and not because I want a lot of money. And the reason why I feel this way is because I'm a very social person. So it's not like I need to get, like, this attention off of YouTube, you know, because if it were the case, then... I'd probably be out and about, you know, doing other shit instead of sitting here playing games and talking about how I feel and what I think to you guys. So <laughs> if I were a big YouTube commentator, I really promise that I wouldn't change. I would I would always talk to my subs and I I uh I really love talking to my subs. It's just it's just that I know for a fact that you guys are the reason why I'm I got where I am. So it's like, why the fuck would I like ignore you guys? You know, like, why should I make you guys feel that you guys are below me or something, you know? And I, I tried talking to a couple of bigger YouTubers and they made me feel that way, you know? <laughs> I know it sucks. And maybe you guys can relate too. like, you guys have like an idol on YouTube or you guys really look up to somebody on YouTube. You watch all of their videos and you don't even get one thank you from them. And I know how that feels because I have, like, watched some bigger either commentators or montage artists, not artists, but makers and, like, GFX artists. And, like, I really, really enjoy watching GFX, like, no lie. And I've had to keep subscribing to different people because they would never respond to me, even if they had, like, fucking 
10 comments. They wouldn't respond to anybody. And it pisses me off because I'm just like, why the fuck do you have a YouTube? Like, you just put out your content and show off, but you don't want to, like, talk to people. You don't want to let them know how you made that or how long it took to make that and what gave you the idea to make that. Like, why do some people not want to communicate with people? I just don't understand. Isn't that really boring to just make something and then show it off like you're at, like, an art show or something and then... People come by, you know, they like your work, and they try to talk to you. Oh, yeah, so how how did you get into this, and blah, 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 and you just fucking stand there and stare at them like you're about to touch them. You know, it's kind of like that, but, of course, on YouTube, it's different. It's the Internet, and I understand that. People are busy, yeah, 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 Jeet always tells me that. But, you know, I understand if there are comments that are redundant, you know, like, how big your tits, how big your dick, bruh. You know, or, oh, where the fuck you from? I'm better than you 1v1 quickscope me or something. Yeah, okay, then I'm not going to respond to you. That's that's just silly, so I understand that. But I have, like, sent some messages to some bigger YouTube commentators, you know, like, asking them, like, questions that they probably don't get often. And I've never gotten a response. Like, it's not even, it's not even nice. I just think about it like, wow. And here's another thing. There was another time where I was in this live stream. I'm not going to say with who or what happened, but I know some of you guys were there because you guys are my new subby wubbies. <laughs> so what happened was that while this live stream was going on, you know, there was this commentator, or I wouldn't really say, I mean, I guess he's somewhat a commentator. But anyways, he was just going on trying to troll stuff. <laughs> I'm not going to say the name, but maybe some of you guys know who this person is. And no disrespect if this person heard what I'm, w or heard this commentary, but it's a perfect example, okay? Okay, like, when I first subbed to this person, he only had, like, 15k subs, and he actually added me on Skype, so it was, it was all good. I was talking to him from time to time, but not often, you know, it's, like, small conversation. And, like, during this live stream, he was trying to entertain his subscribers, you know? And so he was asking if the subscribers would like to see him do this troll with me. And he was suggesting that we do, like, lesbians or be lesbians as sisters. And he would have the subs vote for that. And what happened was that, you know, it didn't happen, even though that a lot of people voted for the lesbian sisters. It just didn't go through. And then I thought it would have been really funny to like see how that would have turned out. So actually, a month later, I asked him, hey, about that lesbian thing, don't you want to like do that? Because that sounds really fun. And I distinctly remember him telling me when I first added him on Skype, he said that, oh, dude, I'm so down to do a collab with anybody because I suggested to do a collab with him because I really liked what he did because it was so funny. And he said he was so down and that he's not like those people who would just turn down people who want to do a collaboration. So then, that month later, you know, I was like, hey, let's do that, because it never happened. He was like, this is really what he said. He said, he said, nah, I'm sorry. I don't think that it's good. It's a good idea because I don't want to work with a girl because it's not as funny once the guy finds out that I'm a guy. I was like, what? Like, you were just trying to entertain yourselves by doing something with me, and then a long time ago you told me that you're totally down to... <laughs> you're totally down to work with anybody, but now that it's not funny because I'm a girl, I already know, you know, it's like, okay, you didn't have to say that if you're just trying to sugarcoat it or something, like, oh, it won't be as funny. Like, that's bullshit. Like, a girl can make something funny, too. It doesn't, like doesn't mean anything if I'm a girl or a guy it's just the fact that he didn't want to do a video with me and that's all he had to say but whatever I can just tell that like now he has like 50 something probably 60k subs now and like uh one of his one of his uh subscribers was like looking up to him and he added me on Skype and I was actually talking to him because I'm that nice not to brag but I am nice you know like it's good to be nice and it's good to know that you're nice <laughs> so he added me, he was like, hey, can you ask him to add me on Skype? And then I tried, and then he was like, nope. I was like, why? Like, he, he really admires what you do, and he's like, nope. I was like, wow, it's fucked up. So besides that, you know, that was just an example to show you guys what I'm talking about. Like, people, people, like, 
I don't know. They just, they change, you know. And I know you guys, some of you guys are probably worried about me changing or something. Like, they just care about money, fame, <laughs> and views. And that's, you know, I guess if you're that kind of person, then that's fine, whatever. But honestly, what I care about is I fucking just love reading your comments because I love to hear thoughts and ideas from other people. And I really really care about your loyalty as well because like not i don't make i don't mean to make it sound like you're my doggy or something but <laughs> loyalty as if in like you you will love to watch my videos no matter like what it is and you love what i do of course and i love what you guys do too like what you guys say to me and stuff and that's that's what i really like about youtube like i just i can't imagine me doing something else on YouTube like the whole trolling series dude I was like fuck that like I tried it and it wasn't even fun I felt really bad and mean and it wasn't something I would like to do so I love all my subscribers like right now who have been a long time subscriber or just a new subscriber so it's really great to have you guys here and be with me because I noticed something different when it came to me looking at other youtubers pages is that in the comment boxes or comment section a lot of them whether girl or boy f so for the girl they would get comments like show me your tits tits or gtfo or oh my gosh she's so hot i would fuck her and blah 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 and if it was a guy it'd just be like random shit like you're gay you're a faggot stop doing this or maybe sometimes it would be like nice things like nice video but that's it i literally would never see a paragraph like how you guys write paragraphs to me and that's just fucking amazing so I really appreciate you guys, and I promise if I ever become a big YouTuber, I will give back to you guys. Like, I would love to actually start a series where I use my subscribers' gameplay, so I can easily, like, record it off your theater mode or something. So that's either Black Ops or either Modern Warfare 3. So I would love to do that for you guys. So thank you so much for your support, and I love all of you guys. I really do.